Hey tribe, welcome back to another video tutorial from me. Today I'm going to show you how to make this slouchy hat like you just see in the intro. And the yarn that we are going to use is the same yarn I use for the Far West and is Undine Treasure from We Crochet. We Crochet. <laughs> and this hook is amazing hook from Fur Crochet Hook. I put the link for you if you want to get this hook. I have coupon code for you as well for 15% off. Before you start to do this project, I suggest you to make the case swatch that show on the screen. After that, you're going to make chain of 48 chain. And this is for all sizes because this 48 chain is going to be the height of the beanie. And we are making the hat like slouchy hat or beanie, whatever you would call. I call it slouchy hat because it's like kind of slouchy. <laughs> and this 48 chain is like the height 11 and a half inches for the slouchy hat. But for the head size is determined by the width. I will show you. So it doesn't matter what size of head you are making, you're going to do the chain of 48 chain. And this is the adult size. First make this or just watch this video so you understand what I'm talking about or you just have a free written pattern open in another browser for you so that you learn both the written pattern and the video tutorial. So yeah, after you make the 48 chain, we then start our row one, row one chain two and you add one single crochet in the second chain from hook. and one single crochet in each stitch across or each chain across and this row one at the end you should have 49 single crochet here you got your row one made and now we're going to do row two but i want to show you how i change the color actually because row two i'm going to work with different color so every time i change the color what i do is that i will add the new color new yarn already on the last stitch but it's like this you know i'm making this case i make single crochet so i have two loops on my hook and what i do i take another color i then take the yarn and take the new yarn to go through that two loops so this is how i end the last stitch before i begin the next row with the new color this way the first stitch of my second row will be the new color and not the the old color all right let's do row two row two chain one and turn your work i actually forgot to show you that before you start your row two you should add stitch marker on the 15th stitch from the end so do that at the stitch marker from the 15th stitch at the end and you will know what i'm talking about when we get there and when you do that chain one <laughs> turn your work and now you're going to add single crochet in each of the next two single crochet i am trying to crochet with the tails already with it and i am off the camera i'm sorry but you hear me you add single crochet in the first two single crochet from previous row then you add one half double crochet in each of the next two single crochet you see that i already have two single crochet i will struggle with trying to add the ends because i don't like to web the end so much when i finish the project all right so add one half double crochet in each of the next two single crochet then add one double crochet in each of the next two single crochet and now you're going to add one treble crochet in each of the next four single crochet
and now add one double crochet in each of the next two single crochet. And then one half double crochet in each of the next three single crochet. Add one more. I need to add one more. <laughs> yeah. Now you're going to add one single crochet in next single crochet, chain one, skip next single crochet and add single crochet in next single crochet. And now you're going to add one half double crochet in each of next three single crochet. And here is the starting of your repeat from here. From where you add one half double crochet in each of the next three single crochet here. If you have the pattern in hands, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then the next one you add one double crochet in each of the next two single crochet. And now you add one treble crochet in each of the next four single crochet. And then you add one double crochet in each of the next two single crochet. And then one half double crochet in each of the next two single crochet. Now one single crochet in the next single crochet chain one, skip one single crochet and add single crochet into the next one. And you see that you arrive already where you add the stitch marker. And there we're going to do different. And again, you have all the information on the written pattern and it's on my blog. So when you get to the stitch marker, remove the stitch marker. And what you're going to do now, you're going to end this row with one half double crochet in each of the next three single crochet. And one double crochet in each of the next two single crochet. And now adding one treble crochet in each of the next four single crochet. Then one double crochet in each of the next two single crochet. And one half double crochet in each of the next two single crochet. We are finishing this row with one single crochet in each of the next two single crochet.
And now row three, I just change the color to the beige one again. I then change one and turn the work. And this row three is very simple. You're going to add one single crochet in each stitch across, including in that chain one space from previous row. So yeah, in this row three, at the end, you should have 49 single crochet. So we are now in row 4 and I just change the color into red color and I already changed one and turned the work. Now I'm just gonna show you that I forget to show you in the first, um, the second row. Now in row 4 you're going to add the stitch marker in the stitch number 10 <laughs> from the end. So you're going to count from the end to the stitch number 10 and add the stitch marker there. So you know how to end the row. Just do that. Now I'm going to show you how to do treble crochet straight edge. First you add single crochet into the first single crochet from previous row. Then you poke the hook into one loop, the loop that on the left, you see there's two loops. And you're going to add in the one on the left. I have this video I put on the corner here. That video is how to do double crochet straight edge. It's the same thing, just add one more single crochet. So you poke the hook there and then you add single crochet with that loop, okay? And now you're going to do the same thing again. Poke the hook into the loop on the left and add single crochet one more time. You see? This way you create this kind of treble crochet alternative <laughs> alternative way so the height is as the same as normal treble crochet. We are doing this because we don't want to have a hole on the end of our work and this way it helps to have a neater edge. And now you will add one treble crochet into the next single crochet. You see the first one that you just did, the one that I show you the treble straight edge, we call that as a one treble crochet. So now we have two treble crochet made. And then you're going to add one double crochet in each of the next two single crochet. And now you add one half double crochet in each of the next three single crochet. Then you add one single crochet in next single crochet and chain one, skip next single crochet and add single crochet into the next. So where you start a single crochet, chain one single crochet, that we start to repeat already. I would tell you after the set done. So all right, next one, you're going to add one half double crochet in each of the next three single crochet. Then one double crochet in each of the next two single crochet. And now you add one treble crochet in each of the next four single crochet.
Now add one double crochet in each of the next two single crochet. And now add one half double crochet in each of the next two single crochet. All right, now you got your repeat uh, stitches. So what you're going to do one more time is to repeat from one single crochet, chain one, one single crochet in this set. Start from there, you see one single crochet, chain one, skip one, one single crochet. You're going to repeat that one more time and you're gonna stop your last stitch there before the stitch marker. So do that and I will show you the end, you know, from the stitch marker to the end of the row. Here we are at the stitch marker. So I'm going to remove the stitch marker and finish this row four with you. To finish it, you're going to add one single crochet into the next single crochet, chain one, skip next single crochet, and add one single crochet into the next one. Now you're going to add one half double crochet in each of the next three single crochet. Then you're going to add one double crochet in each of the next two single crochet. And lastly, we're going to add one treble crochet in each of the next two single crochet. And this is how we end our row four. All right, now we're about to do row five. Usually you have to turn and chain one, but I like to chain one and turn. So it doesn't matter, just do what you have to do, but just keep in mind that I already chain one and I turn. Now I am going to add the stitch marker, counting from the end of the row. I'm counting to the stitch number 10, and I will add the stitch marker to the stitch number 10 from the end. Okay, now row five, we will start again with the treble straight edge. You already know you add single crochet in the first stitch and you're going to do the same by poke the hook into the loop on the left. Add single crochet there and you do that one more time. And this one count as one treble crochet. And now you're going to add one treble crochet in next treble crochet from previous row. And then you add one double crochet in each of next two double crochet. Then you add one half double crochet in each of next three half double crochet. Next you add one single crochet in next single crochet. Chain one, skip chain one space and one single crochet in next single crochet. Now you add one half double crochet in each of next two half double crochet. And then one double crochet in each of next two double crochet.
follow up with one treble crochet in each of the next four treble crochet. Then add one double crochet in each of the next two double crochet. And one half double crochet in each of the next three half double crochet. All right. Now you're going to do the repeat and the repeat start from one single crochet, chain one, one single crochet you see over there. From there you're going to repeat all of that stitches until there. Another set which will take you to there. Just right before the stitch marker I meet you there. And here we are. Let's Remove the stitch marker and ending this row together. Now you're going to add one single crochet in next stitch. Chain one. Skip next chain one space and add one single crochet in next single crochet. Then you add one half double crochet in each of next three single crochet. And then one double crochet in each of next two double crochet. And the last two stitches will be one treble crochet in each of next two single crochet. Now I'm going to change the color back to the beige color again, which I'm going to do the same thing, adding this new color this way, so that the first stitch of row six will be the beige color. Okay, I already changed one. Now turn the work, and for row six, you're going to repeat row three by adding. One single crochet in each stitch across, including that chain one space. In this row six, you will ending with a total of forty nine single crochet, and I will meet you in row seven. All right, here row seven. Before starting row seven, I will ask you to add the stitch marker in the fifteen stitch from the end. So you will count and add the stitch marker there. And now chain one. I already chain one, so if you haven't chain one yet, just chain one and now add one single crochet in each of next two single crochet. Then one half double crochet. In each of next two single crochet, next you will add one double crochet in each of next two single crochet. Following up with one treble crochet in each of next. Four single crochet.
then one double crochet in each of next two single crochet. And one half double crochet in each of next three single crochet. Then one single crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip next single crochet, adding one single crochet into next single crochet. And this is the repeat of this row. You're going to do this one more time, one more set, starting from one half double crochet. There. Starting from one half double crochet in each of next two single crochet until the last stitch that you just made and that set will be exactly right before the stitch marker and meet you there so here we are ready there now let's move our stitch marker and here the next stitch you're going to add one half double crochet in each of the next three single crochet. Then one double crochet in each of the next two single crochet. Following up with one treble crochet in each of the next four single crochet. Then one double crochet in each of the next two single crochet. Then one half double crochet in each of the next two single crochet. And now we add one single crochet in each of the next two single crochet. And this is how we end our row 7. Now row 8, chain 1, turn our work. Add one single crochet in each of next two single crochet. Then adding one half double crochet in each of the next two half double crochet. Then one double crochet in each of the next two double crochet. Following up with one treble crochet in each of the next four treble crochet. Then one double crochet in each of the next two double crochet. And one half double crochet in each of the next three half double crochet. Then add one single crochet in next single crochet. Chain one. Skip chain one space and add one single crochet in next single crochet. Then add one half double crochet in each of next three half double crochet. Then add one double crochet 
in each of next two double crochet. And again, adding one treble crochet in each of next four treble crochet. Then you add one double crochet in each of next two double crochet. And one half double crochet in each of next two half double crochet. And that's it. You're going to repeat the set again starting from one single crochet, chain one, one single crochet. Just one more set like this until the end that I just show you now. And you will come to the end, you will have two stitches left. Okay, here you are in the last two stitches, you add one single crochet in each stitch of the last two. And this is how you end your row eight. I'm stopping there because I'm going to change the color again. But from now on, you're going to repeat row three to row eight for the pattern. All right. And I really suggest you to look at my free written pattern on my blog so you understand exactly where to repeat because I'm not showing the repeat part in the video. I don't want it to be too long. So just look at the free pattern along with this video tutorial. I am going to make a total of 47 rows which is 22 inches because we, um, we measure the length of the rows for around the head measurement. So my head is 22 inches and if your head is bigger than 22 inches, you make more rows. I would suggest to end your last row with row three. So I end my last row with row three and I have a total of 47 rows. So here's my 47 rows left flat. And I want to let you know that when you measure your piece, when you lay flat, it looks smaller than your head size. Like this one, you see it's only about 16 inches. And when I pull both ends, it, you know, stretch out to 22 inches. You have to pull your work to see, you know, until it fullest stretch ability to see how many inches because you don't want to have too big because otherwise you can't wear it. And when you got the right side, then you will fold your work in half. Make sure that you face the right side together because we're going to sew the ends, both ends together. And I like to sew from the inside. So this way my work look neater. All right, when you got that, just sew both ends together. Now that you are done, actually, if you turn the inside out again to the, you know, the right side, you can wear it as a cowl, just like here on the screen. You can wear it like that. Or you're going to close on the top and make it a slouchy hat, which I'm going to do now. So you're going to use a yarn needle and you're going to, you know, sew it as if you are making a drawstring and this is how I do. Yeah, now we are done. Make sure you tie it good, make a good knot. This is inside, nobody will see it. You can also leave your tail of the yarn if you want to use it 
to add the pom pom later. You see, that is the tail. You can just leave it for add pom pom. If not, just tie it good knots many times and yeah, hide it inside your slouchy hat. <laughs> And now let's do the trim. I'm just gonna make very simple. You see that the trim just will have a finished look. I'm going to add single crochet around. So what I do, I'm going to poke my hook to where I connect both ends together, but it doesn't matter where actually. I'm going to use this brown color for the trim. And for the trim, I would suggest you to add single crochet, not too many, because if too many, then it's not so nice, become, you know, like wobbly or wavy. So you chain one and add one single crochet across. For me, I have made or I have added 68 single crochet around the trim of my slouchy hat. When you come to the beginning, then slip stitch and chain one and cut the yarn and then you are done. You can add more row of single crochet, but I am good with just one row of single crochet. Alright, <laughs> I hope you enjoy it because it's so fun and easy to do. You can also look at my free reading pattern along with this video tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Now it's time to go out and dance around with your by my slouchy hat. <laughs>